with a video of all things pink. So I felt like due to the fact that it is October and it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, that pink has been all over the place, which we all love pink, right? So I um, wanted to do a quick little video on a couple of my favorite cosmetic items that happen to be pink. It just goes with the theme of the month, right? So let's first start off with what I have on my lips that I love. Although it is not so much of a fall color like an October color, for this month you can get away with it because it's pink. First I started off with my pink um, EOS ball and it is, um, I believe this is the strawberry flavor. And then I line my lip with the NYX, and it's Dolly Pink, number 839. And it is just like a really, really pretty, very pigmented uh, pink, kind of like a baby pink. And then the color that I have on my lips is from Wet n Wild, and it is like a bubblegum pink. And the name of this color is Dollhouse Pink. And I had um, highlighted this color in my Pink Chronicles, my lip uh, Pink Chronicles a couple of months back. And sticking with the lips, now that was what I have on my lips today. But a couple of pink things that I have been loving um, is also from Wet n Wild and it is uh, the Mega Last. And what is this color? It is um, Click on my Hyper Pink. Okay. But anyway, it is one of those long-lasting colors, and it really is long-lasting. But it is somewhat of a Barbie doll pink, too. It is, when I say fierce on the lip, it is really fierce on the lip. It's gorgeous, actually. And it will last you hours and hours. Matter of fact, I have to scrub it off my lips anytime I wear it. And then I have a, um, let me do this one. The NYX, the matte lipsticks. I love matte, all things matte, and this happens to be a really pretty like fuchsia type pink and the name of it is called shocking pink and it is gorgeous i'll swatch it for you guys it's more of a deeper pink not so much of that barbie pink and last but not least for a lip product is from covergirl and it is just a gloss and it has a pink tint to it and of course it's a gloss so it's not very pigmented but it's definitely glossy um and the smell is not overshadowing like the product because you know the smell can be some glosses smell like ooh, too much but anyway this is called let's see colorlicious and it's in uh, whipped berry and this is uh, from covergirl I love covergirl glosses and they're not like gummy like when you put them on your lips and you have all that so they don't do that I really like them okay that was all of my lip products now I'm gonna go to uh, blushes one of my favorite things to put on every day when I don't have blush on I feel like I am not complete. So the first is a Rimmel. For those of you who are not big on blush and kind of introducing yourself to it, this is a perfect pink color to introduce um, yourself to blush. And it's called Lasting Finish and it's Pink Rose. And it is really pretty. And it's kind of like a, um, not so much mauve but it doesn't have a huge like pink uh, feel to it. I guess maybe like an iridescent pink, if that makes any sense. And I bought this baby the other day, and she is pigmented. She does not play, so I'm gonna have to warm up to her because I'm not really sure what to do with this one yet. She's that pigmented. But anyway, it's from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Glow uh, Illuminating Powder, and it is in 346 Strike a Pose Rose. So can you imagine? And definitely Rose shows up in this, okay? Um, but anyway, it's like four different colors, and when you swirl them all together, it makes a really, really pretty, nonetheless, um, deep rose color. I'm not sure if it just doesn't go with my skin or if I'm applying too much when I apply it, so I'm playing with it. But I do like it because it is very pigmented. When I learn how to really get it down, I'll do a video for you guys. And last but not least on the blushes, I love Milani products, but I love her blushes. Her, I guess it's a woman, Milani. It just sounds like her. Um, but anyway, this is like a mauve pink, and you'll see that it has some pink swirls in it. And the name of this color, and I have it on today, is called Fascinato Mauve. And I really like it. 
Again, Milani products are also very pigmented, so you only need a dab, and then I had to blend it in some. But for me, I love blush, so sometimes it looks like I have a ton of blush on, when really it just might be a little bit, and due to whatever the product is, it just may have a lot of pigmentation. Okay, so sticking with the pink theme, of course, this is Wet n Wild. I'm crazy for Wet n Wild lately, guys. I mean, Wet n Wild has really stepped it up, and they are showing out, let me tell you. But anyway, they have a uh, angled brush, um, that is in hot pink, which I love, and it's great for doing eyeshadows, applying eyeshadows um, to your eyelids. So, uh, this is awesome, and it is pink, and I got it a couple of months ago, so they may still have it in stores. I'm not really sure. I think it might have been one of their limited edition, but I could be totally wrong. Um, but the angled eyeshadow brush is what it's called. And then last for the face products is it's a, a blending sponge. Now it's not a beauty blender, which is the brand of the sponges that they have out or one of the sponges, but I actually got this at Ross Guys for $4.99 and I love these sponges. I mean, they work just as well as the beauty blenders. Um, and it is pink and so I've had this one for a while I've actually been using others but I pulled this one out not only that do I love using a sponge to apply my foundation but um, it is pink and you can't go wrong with pink so I suggest this I found it at Ross I've seen them at TJ Maxx also um, if you just want to go for you know not so expensive and not pay like maybe the ten dollar beauty blender you can get it for half price and it does the same thing okay and that last but not least are nail polish colors now normally i um wear acrylic nails and i just recently took them off and been kind of playing around with nail polish so i'm excited to uh polish my nails i'm going to do a different color this week for breast cancer a different shade pink but anyway my favorite all-time favorite nail polish color in pink is is this one right here from OPI. My nail tech, the lady who does my nails, she always orders this for me. But it's called uh, Mod About You. And it's just a soft baby pink, but I love it. If you don't wanna go this route and you wanna do more of like a drugstore product, this one is very similar. As you can see, both baby pinks. And this is from um, Sally Hansen. Harden nails. And um, last but not least for the pale pinks is from Essie, and this is also a gorgeous pale pink, French Affair. And this is uh, more of a hot pink. It's called Purple Panic Neon. And I don't know why it's called Purple Panic because it's not purple at all. But anyway, it's a neon pink. And then um, for more of your affordable um, colors, they're a little bit um, more affordable than the China Glaze. This one is from Sally Hansen, Hard as Nails. And I really love this color, and it's called Love Rocks. And the last um, hot pink color that I'm gonna share with you guys is called Cream Pink, and this is from Sinful Colors, which I really love Sinful Colors. They're like a dollar, a dollar ninety-nine uh, in most places. I suggest this color from uh, Milani, this glitter color, and it is called Disco Light. So thank you guys so much for tuning in um, to All Things Pink and happy Breast Cancer Month and you take care. I will see you soon. Bye.